ஐ ஆம் வெல்கம் டு அவர் சேனல் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஸ்டேஷன் இது வரைக்கும் நம்ம சேனலில் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணாதவங்க ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணுங்கள் இந்த வீடியோ நைன்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் சோஷியல் சயின்ஸ் ஜியாகிரஃபி யூனிட் ஒன் லித்தோஸ் பியர் ஒன் என்ட்டு ஜெனடிக் ப்ராசஸஸோட புக் பேக் எக்ஸசைஸ் பார்க்கலாம் டென் டு த பேஜ் ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபைவ் ரொம்ப நம்பர் ஒன் சூஸ் த கரெக்ட் ஆன்சர் ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் டேஷ் இஸ் த ரிஜிட் அவுட்டர் லேயர் ஆஃப் த இயர் த ஆன்சர் இஸ் சி ஆப்ஷன் க்ரஸ்ட் க்ரஸ்ட் இஸ் தி ஆன்சர் செகண்ட் ஒன் டேஷ் லேயர் இஸ் மேட் அப் ஆஃப் லிக்விட் அயன் த ஆன்சர் இஸ் பி ஆப்ஷன் அவுட்டர் கோர் தேர்ட் ஒன் மேக்மா இஸ் ஃபவுண்ட் இன் தி பி ஆப்ஷன் மேண்டல் இஸ் தி ஆன்சர் ஃபோர்த் ஒன் த மூமெண்ட் ஆஃப் டெக்டானிக் பிளேட்ஸ் இஸ் இன்டியூஸ்ட் பை B option thermal energy. Fifth one, in the ancient period, Gondwana land moved towards dash, dash direction. Answer is A option, north direction. Sixth one, many million years ago, India was a part of the supercontinent. The answer is A option, Gondwana. Seventh, the movement of plates that create stress and tension in the rocks causing them to stretch and cracks result in B option, fault is the answer. Eighth one, Dash refers to a bowl-shaped depression found at the top of the volcano. Answer is A option, crater. Then, ninth one. The point of origin of an earthquake is called the answer is B option, focus. Focus is the answer. Roman number two, match the following. First one, endogenetic process, volcanic eruption. Second, mantle, SEMA, S-I-M-E. Third one, convergent boundaries, subduction zone, earthquake. seismograph then fifth one composite volcano pacific ocean is the answer then moving to roman number 3 consider the given statements first one mount fuji is a dormant volcano true second one mount kilimanjaro is a dormant volcano third mount tanzania is a dormant volcano which of the statement is or are true which statement is true they are asking so first one a option is the right answer first one is true mount fuji is a dormant volcano a option is the right answer second one statement magma gushes out when it finds vents reason interior of the earth contains compressed hot magma the answer is a option statement and reason both are true third one statement 1 mountain ranges are formed by the collision of tectonic plates statement 2 the movement of tectonic plates is due to the thermal energy from the mantle the answer is d option statement 1 and 2 are true both are true turn to the page 166 roman number 4 answer in brief first one write a brief note on the various spheres of the earth various spheres of the earth so if they ask the spheres in na lithosphere biosphere so now uh, write a note on the various spheres of the earth page number 158 the answer is this box the lithosphere is the solid outer part of the earth adala irund the biosphere is the layer of the earth where life exists roman number 4 first one answer second one mention the layers of the interior of the earth page number 157 turn to the page 157 see structure of the under the topic structure of the earth third line the structure of the earth's interior is divided into three layers namely the crust the mantle and the core roman number 4 second one answer then third one define plate tectonics page number 160 plate tectonics under the topic plate tectonics 1 2 3 4 fifth line collisions of these strike out the word these tectonic these strike out panitte tectonic nu edikonga collisions of tectonic plates produce mountain ranges and other irregular surface features both on land and the ocean floor this phenomenon is called plate tectonics roman number 4 third one answer fourth one what is tsunami page number 163 162 you have to start from 162 the word tsunami is a japanese term meaning harbor waves it is adopted to describe then 163 page large seismically generated sea waves caused by earthquakes submarine explosions and landslides for roman number 4th fifth one answer what is tsunami the tsunami la start panni right side la landslides oda close panikenga roman number 4th la fifth one answer Fifth one, what is a volcano? Mention its major components. Page number 163, what is volcano? 
under the topic volcano. A volcano is a vent or an opening on the surface of the earth's crust through which hot solid liquid and gaseous material erupt out. Roman number 4th la 5th one answer. What is volcano and its types major components kettu kaangali ya. So volcanoes generally have the following major components they are. Magma chamber, vents, volcanic cone, then crater. Only the heading you have to write. Magma chamber, and then a components. Magma chamber, vents, volcanic cone and crater. Roman number 4th, 5th one answer. 6th one. What is an earthquake and how it occurs? Page number 162. What is an earthquake? Earthquakes. These four lines. The bold are clear. Earthquakes are the source of disturbance. How it occurs? So, the next line ka next line. It generates it generates generates it generates a series of elastic waves so these four lines and this line it generates a series of elastic waves then sorry seventh one what are seismic waves and mention its types page number 162 seismic waves under the topic seismic waves Earthquakes lundu start panni major types of seismic waves types of uh, waves are clear Roman number 4th la 7th one answer then primary or P waves accordingly there are three major types of waves liya N and N yedhu no primary or P waves bold letters la yedhu matto secondary or S waves surface waves or L waves so in the one paragraph yedhu tu then primary waves secondary waves surface waves Roman number 4th 7th one answer 8th one write about the pacific ring of fire page number 164 Most earthquakes, circle, distribution of earthquakes and volcanoes. Le, the most earthquakes start two lines, then right side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th line. Uh, volcanically active zone in the world. Page number 164. Volcanically active zone in the world. That's why we stop. 4th Roman letter, 8th one answer. Then moving to 5th Roman. Give reasons for the following. First one. Igneous rocks or, or also called volcanic rocks. Page number 164. Give reasons for the following. First one. Igneous rocks or co are also called primary rocks or mother rocks. Page number 159. Turn to the page 159. Ign under the topic igneous rocks so here in the paragraph one two three third line igneous rocks are also called primary or mother rocks because all other rocks are directly or indirectly formed from them so roman number fifth give reasons first one answer these three lines then moving to roman number six distinguish between first one core and crust page number 158 and 159 158 core and crust yeah, crust la first point. Crust is the outer layer of the earth. First point. Second point, it lies above the mantle. Second point, it lies above the mantle. Third point, the major elements of crust, CL and uh, that is silica and aluminium and sima, silica and magnesium. This is third point in this crust. Then core, page number 159. The core is the innermost and hottest layer of the earth. First point. Second point, it lies below the mantle. So, lies kamunadi, it erdikonga. Second point, it lies below the mantle. In general, no, it lies above the mantle. Then, third point, it is composed mainly of nickel and iron, hence, it is called knife. This is third point. So, three points in the crust and the core. Three points. Then, second, epicenter and hypocenter. Page number 162. epicenter and hypocenter first epicenter is a point on the earth's surface that lies directly above the focus first point epicenter and the focus first point second point the impact of earthquake is felt the most at the epicenter second point then hypocenter the fourth line la the point the point of origin of an earthquake is called focus that is hypocenter that is first point then second point one the generates kumnadi it generates a, a series of elastic waves second point so hypocenter two points epicenter two points roman number six less second one answer second third one divergent and convergent boundaries page number 160 divergent and convergent boundaries see Convergent boundaries la here strike out panikonga the plates lander the plate moves other than the start panikonga the plate moves towards the sinks another under another first point then second point the location learn the fold mountain Himalayas second point Roman number six la third la first point second point then divergent boundary the plates pull away from each other as magma pushes up from the mantle 
Then example, second point. Divergent boundary. Fourth one. Primary waves and secondary waves. Page number 162. See, primary waves. Primary waves, le, primary waves le, the epicenter, first point. Then these waves from, uh, these waves pass through solids, liquids and gases, second point. Third point, the average velocity learn the per second work on third point. So, primary waves, three points. Then, secondary waves. Secondary waves travel only through solids, first point. Second point, these transverse waves shake the ground perpendicular to the direction in which they propagate, second point. Then, third point, the average velocity learn the 8 km per second, third point. So, three points, primary waves and secondary waves. Fifth one, shield volcano and volcanic dome. Page number 164. Shield volcano. Shield volcanoes learn the viscous lava. First point. Second point. Next. Shallow de uh, deposition. So, Roman number. Sixth. Fifth. La, first two points. Then, shield volcano. Then, volcanic dome. Volcanic dome. La, la lava learn the uh, third line. Viscous lava from a volcano. First point. Second point. As the lava is rich. Example. Varikko. Second point. So, two points in volcanic dome. Two, pulse, uh, two points in shield volcano. Moving to Roman number 7. Write answers in a paragraph. First one. Describe the structure of earth. Page number 157. Structure of earth. See. What is the structure of the earth? This paragraph. Roman number 7. Le, first one answer. Up to mantle and core. And we have to give the explanation for the crust, mantle and core. Turn to the page 158. This crust paragraph full. Roman number 7. First one answer. Roman number 7. First one. Then mantle, this whole paragraph. Then core, you have to start from the, the core is the inter, innermost layer. Then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th line, earth's magnetic field. That would close. Panikonga. Roman number 7, la, detail, la, paragraph question, first one answer. So crustful, then mantle, then in core up to earth's magnetic field. Roman number 7, first one answer. Second one. Write a note on the internal and external processes of earth. Page number 160. The forces that act from the earth's interior towards the earth's surface are called internal processes or endogenetic processes. From this to topographic relief, internal process. Internal process in the paragraph. Then you have to write the continuation of this internal process. These two paragraphs, internal process and then external processes. External process. This paragraph from the force and the start panni, endogenetic process, varikko, external process. So, internal process, the force and the in the paragraph, then continuation, next paragraph. Then external process, the forces that act on the this paragraph, right side, endogenetic processes. So, Roman number 7, second one answer. Third one. How are volcanoes classified based on the periodicity of their eruptions? Page number 163. Right side. Pa based on the periodicity of eruptions, volcanoes are classified into active volcano, dormant volcano and extinct volcano. So, we will start with active volcano explanation and then dormant volcano explanation, extinct or dead volcano. Turn to the page 164 up to Tanzania. Roman number 7, la, third one answer, based on that periodicity. Fourth one, explain the effects of volcanoes. Page number 164, effects of volcanoes. Constructive effects, destructive effects. Roman number 7, la, fourth one answer, effects of volcano fully. So, first listen over. In the video, you will be useful. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for your support. Thanks for watching.